Hej. Hej. Welcome to this short explanation on how Heard is played. Yes. Uh, what we have here is the prototype of Heard. Um, the board is pretty much uh, exactly how it's going to be. These ones are smaller and uh, especially the boats are different. They are going to be longer rectangular shapes instead. Uh, these are all wood. This is cloth. Here is metal coin. And here is the bag which holds the game, uh, which also is made uh, in cloth. And uh, it's all made to look like it was from the Viking era. Um, we wanted to keep this feeling to it. In the game, you have three different pieces. The Loftungur, the Viking King, the Viking King's elite guard, which are the Hilts, and these are Karve, the Viking boats. You start on the board with the Loftungur in the home space. Each time it's your turn, you take five moves. Gold starts. One. Two. Three. Four. Like that, the hill can also jump into a boat. And five. And then it's Silver's turn. One, two, three, four, five. Back to gold. Uh, gold can move. Then let's talk about the movement. Uh, if a piece moves into an empty space, it has to stop. So if gold were to move here, the Loftunger can move anywhere it wants. Um, it gets to stop here. It cannot move any further. But if it, there is a piece there, so if the Loftunger goes here, it can continue moving. So for example, it would be one, two, three, four, could be a potential move, and then some piece entering the home space, uh, five. And for silver, it would be, uh, for example, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's about movement. If you're in the, in the space, you can move further. If you're not, you're taking the space, but that piece has to stop. You also have the case where you are attacking. If you're entering a space which someone else is in, then you stand, stop on the, on the border, just to indicate you're moving in there, and when all your five moves are done, you see who is the strongest. Everything is counted once. So one, two, three, four, five here, and there's one, two, three. The only th exception is that an empty boat is worth zero. So a boat that has a hilt in it is worth two. One, two. The Loftunger is never in the boat, it's always outside the boat. In this case, uh, Silver wins, and let's pretend this was the case. Silver still wins. One, two, three, four against one, two, three, four, five. And uh, hilts that are alone are killed and removed from game. Hilts in boats and boats are removed from play and can be put back through the home space. The Lottungur retreats to a space which is controlled by no one or by his own uh, color. So for example here or here. If let's say that there were silver pieces here and here then there is nowhere to retreat for the Loftungur. It has to retreat off the board. This is one of the two win conditions. In this case, silver wins. The other one is if any player at any point of the game have control over the five middle spaces, or I should say at the end of their turn, they have control of all the five middle spaces uh, they win the game. We also have the coin, which is a doubling coin. At any time during the game, you can offer the doubling coin to the other player. Now, Hild is played uh, to 
five points normally. So you get points for the winning and you play a consecutive number of, of games. To win uh, with the middle, you get one point. To win by forcing the other Loftungur off the board, you get two points. If you offer a doubling, then you, the, if the other player accepts it, you play for double points. So this is two and this would be four points. And if it's tripled, which the other player only can do because it has the coin after it's been accepted, then it's three or six points. That's basically it. There are some small other variants which you can see in the rules which are accessible here on uh, in a uh, prototype version, not uh, the final version, but the rules as they are now, uh, which are gameplay-wise correct, they are available here on Kickstarter. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye.